a backup of your website is only useful if you can restore it. Perhaps you need to change your web host or even move the site from a development server to a live server. To begin with, take a brand new backup of your website. Once the backup is complete, go to Manage Backups and download the backup file to your computer. Now we've downloaded the backup file, we need an additional program called Akiba Kickstart Professional, which you can find at the akibabackup.com website in the download section. If we scroll down, we can see the link to the latest version. Click on Download to download the Kickstart program to your computer. Here, we can see that the Kickstart program is a zip file, and we need to extract that. On most operating systems, you can do that simply by double-clicking on the file name. We can see we now have a new folder with all the Kickstart files in. The only one that you actually need is the kickstart.php file. All the rest are language translations. We now need to transfer the kickstart.php and our backup to our brand new web host. And to do that, we will use a FTP program. I am going to use FileZilla, but you can use any FTP program that you like. To begin with, connect to your new server. Once connected, make sure you are in the public HTML or web root of your server. Now you need to transfer the backup file from your local computer to our new live server. I'm just going to pick that up and drag it across. You can see the upload is taking place. We now have the backup file on the new server. We now need to take that kickstart.php file and do exactly the same thing. Select it and drag it across. That's it with FileZilla for now, so let's go back to our web browser and go to our brand new website. As you can see, I have a holding page in place to show that the website is coming soon. So just go to the special URL for kickstart.php. The Kickstart program is now running. Kickstart is not an installation program. It is a special archive extraction tool. We can click here to remove this message and we can see here that it has detected the archive file. We have two methods of extracting the files, either directly or using FTP. On most good web hosts, we can use the direct method. Now, click Start to begin the extract process. Kickstart has now extracted the backup file and provided a link to the installer that was built into that backup. Click to run the installer. The installer is a very simple process. We begin with the required settings. As you can see, they are all set to yes. If any are set to no, you won't be able to proceed and you need to speak to your web host to rectify the errors. This warning indicates that the installer has detected that I am restoring the website on a different server. We can now click Next. I now need to enter the database connection details that I have from my web host. Enter the server host name, which is usually localhost, but that may depend on your hosting and your database username and password. And finally, the database name that you want to install your website on. Again, this is something that your host will have provided for you or you will have set up yourself within your host control panel. The database has now been restored and we can click Next to continue. The next screen lets you set some of the site parameters, such as the site name, any tagline, and to confirm the new website URL. You can also change and set the super user admin details, their email address and their password, and then click Next. If you read these instructions, you will see that we need to close this tab and return to the Akiba Kickstart program 
and click on Clean Up. This will remove the kickstart.php file and that big backup archive from our new web server. Now that we're done, we can visit our website and here we can see that the website has now been transferred from our old hosting account to our new one.